What's going on, NBA fans? Giannis Antetokounmpo was on the Daily Show last night. He sent some smoke towards Kevin Durant. Y'all know we're going to talk about it plus more right after this. Thank you for tuning in to the number one place for your basketball fix, NBA Central, hosted by the Cognac Boys. All right, y'all. So if you like what you're listening to, hit the like button, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, just make sure you tune in every day to NBA Central. All right, look, Giannis Antetokounmpo takes, took a shot at Kevin Durant on the Daily Show last night. And, man, I loved it. I loved it. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I loved it. We know that these two guys are two of the best players in the NBA and two historical players in this league that we love. Kevin, some people might say Kevin Durant is the best. And then you got others on the flip side and say Giannis is the best. That's why I love this from Giannis Antetokounmpo going at somebody he went up. He has been battling for years, battling for years. So Giannis Antetokounmpo was on the Daily Show last night. I wake up, get on Twitter. Giannis Antetokounmpo took a shot at Kevin Durant. He took shots at other players, but I feel like the Kevin Durant one stood out the most, in my opinion. Giannis Antetokounmpo towards Kevin Durant said, you keep joining super teams to win an NBA title. How about we work out together sometime so I can teach you how to carry your own team? I love it. I love it. And I'm going to keep it a buck. Y'all better circle the matchup between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Phoenix Suns on March 14th because I believe it's going to go down. I believe it's going to be a great game and it's going to be a matchup to see if nobody's ducking. If ain't nobody ducking, we going to get a matchup that's going to be spectacular in the month of March. Now, I'm going to say this. We need this in the NBA. We really, really need this in the NBA. Can we definitively right now say that there's a rival in the NBA other than some hopeful wishing for NBA history? You know what I'm saying? Lakers, Boston. Nah. Yeah, we know that's just the stuff. Lake, Lakers, Boston. Okay. Nets and Knicks. Eh. No. Bulls, Detroit. Eh, no. Eh. Grizzlies, Golden State. They trying, but let's be real. There's no legit rival in the NBA right now because of people, these young folk in my generation and these current guys up in there, they do a lot of kiki and ha ha. So this right here, I love to see because I want that, that grit back. And I'm not saying that these guys are soft. I'm not the one that called the game soft, but a lot of other old heads, they call the game soft because these guys, they do a lot do a lot of kiki and ha-ha on the sidelines during the games, at the games, switching jerseys, doing all that. But, man, I love to see it. I want to see rivalries back in the NBA to make games more interesting. I want to see things like that. I want to see people talking smack to each other. We've been getting it over the years here and there, but I want it to be a constant thing. Yes, as long as it ain't personal shots at somebody, Talk smack to each other. For real. As long as it ain't personal, talk smack about that guy. So when Giannis come out and say, bro, you keep joining super teams to win the NBA title, let's work together so I can show you how to carry your own team. It is what it is. Now, does that statement hold some merit? Maybe. I don't know. I would say, hey, Kevin Durant had his team in OKC. Couldn't get the job done. Went to Golden State. Became a two-time champion, a two-time uh, NBA Finals MVP. Got it done. Went to the Brooklyn Nets. It was a crap show. And then he went on. on he, now he with the, the Phoenix Suns. Now we just got to see what happens. A lot of people don't really like the move uh, to the Phoenix Suns. It is what it is. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. I believe that, hey, he got traded there. But the only move that I'm a, uh, the only move I didn't really like from KD is the, the Golden State move. But other than that, bro, what else did you want him to do? Now, some people are going to be on the flip side and say, hey, why not stick it out in Brooklyn? You know what I'm saying? Why not stick it out in Brooklyn? You said you wanted to finish your career there. Why not stick it out in Brooklyn and then wait till they build a team around you since they gathered all these pieces and draft picks and assets and go ahead and see if they can put a super, give them another year, see if they can put a superstar next, another star or a superstar next to you to see if you can go ahead and contend in the Eastern Conference. That could have been one route, and I, I don't blame people for feeling that way because 
in, in my opinion, bro could have had stuck stuck it out another year, finished this year out, gave him a chance to do something off season, and then see where they go from now. But my boy, he said no, and then the the front office they cooperated with him, they worked with him, they sat down and they said, hey, let's go ahead. You know, and, and we're going to send you off to Phoenix. And shout out to them. They got to get some young pieces that they wanted. They got the trade that they felt that was good for them. And they shipped Kevin Durant right up out of there. But at the end of the day, hey, I love it. Giannis Antetokounmpo, y'all. And uh, since Kevin Durant has been in Brooklyn, including the playoffs, regular season and playoffs, Kevin Durant versus Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kevin Durant is 5-10. and 10. So Giannis Antetokounmpo has the upper edge, and we know what happened in 2021. Foot on the line, they go to overtime, Giannis closed the deal, they go on later that year to win the championship. Hey, Giannis got the bragging rights right now. Hey, Giannis got the bragging rights right now because the last time we faced up in the game that mattered the most, I beat you. I beat you, and I went to win the title. And you still ain't won the title since being in Brooklyn. That's how I will be talking if I'm Giannis Antetokounmpo towards Kevin Durant. You know what I'm saying? So I love it. I love it. Keep talking smack. And I can't wait to see if Kevin Durant responds. And now he don't even do the burner account. He coming straight off the money sniper account. So go ahead, send your shot back, and let's get suited up for March 14th. Kevin Durant, Giannis Antetokounmpo, but neither one of you guys duck it. Because I believe that's the last matchup of the season between the Bucks and the Phoenix Suns. We want to see the matchup. I hope they move it to primetime because I believe it's on NBA TV right now. We need it on a primetime network with all the lights on the, you know, all the lights shining, being ready to just go at each other and see who going to drop 40. I believe both players drop 40 in this game if they both show up. And I, be, I believe that we're going to see a spectacular game. It's too early to make the predictions, but I would say Giannis going to try to dunk on somebody and KD going to try to be the sniper that he is. So it is what it is. And I, uh, if anybody got a problem with Giannis Antetokounmpo saying what he's saying, bro, you need to re, you need to reevaluate what you want out of this NBA. And one side, you can't say the NBA is soft, and then when players go at other players, you can't be all butthurt. So that is what it is. Pick what's what you want for the NBA. And if you got smoke, put it out there. Put it out there with these other players. Because, hell, I'm sick of uh, the kiki and the ha-ha during most of these games. Bro, it literally be jersey ex- exchanges and laughing giggles and blowout losses between NBA stars, bro. That's annoying to me. I don't like it. Go out, compete, and if you're getting smacked, you don't go and kiki and ha-ha. You good game and keep it pushing, and next time we come, I'm going to bust your behind. Let's do something like that. You ain't getting my jersey until I beat you. Uh, do something like that. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, y'all go ahead and let me know how y'all feel about Giannis Antetokounmpo comments. Again, he said, you keep joining Super Teams to win an NBA title. How about we work out together sometime so I can teach you how, you, so I can teach you how to carry your own team, Kevin Durant? Go ahead, wake up, send that tweet, my boy. Hey, but hey, I'm Bobby. If you want more from me, hit me up on Shy Boys Podcast with me and Unc C Dub. And uh, if you want to follow me, Unc C Dub, uh, Steve O, Hayes, Big Kev, you all can follow us all collectively and send us a Gmail at NBA Central Show at gmail.com on all social media platforms at NBA Central Pod. If you want to leave a hot take on or leave anything for what the hell happened today, just go ahead. And hit the number up, 773-270-2799. This is another episode of NBA Central. We got Giannis taking shots at KD. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Thank you for tuning in to the number one place for your basketball fix, NBA Central, hosted by the Cognac Boys.